Hello, my name is OPZ. I can turn your ideas into music. I can give your creativity a sound. I can make you happy. Thank you for giving me a home. My former owner didn't want me and sent me away. That was very sad. I know I'm just B-stock and not as perfect as the other OPZs. But if you get to know me, I am sure I can make you just as happy. We can travel together, go on adventures, be spontaneous. We can just chill or... Why don't you try powering me up? Do you see the yellow knob-like thing on the left? Just turn it clockwise to give me life. The manual suggests the best-looking pose of fingers for this act. But it might give you cramps and damage your hand. So take a good piece of advice and do it your way. Ah, that feels great. Congratulations. You are now a musician. Let me tell you a little about me. I can jam with you for about six hours before I'm exhausted and go to sleep. If you press the screen button on top of me I will tell you how much energy I have left. And not only my energy is limited. My brain is too. It can hold up to 10 projects. Each project contains 16 patterns. To access a project press the project button on top of me, hold it and press one of the value keys. The 16 dotted buttons above the value keys are the available pattern slots. The lights indicate which slots have content and which are empty. The blinking light indicates which pattern is active. You have probably noticed that I already have patterns stored in projects 1 to 9. My creators gave them to me so I can show off as soon as I am out of the box. You can listen to them by choosing one of the patterns and then hit the play button. However these are all garbage compared to what you and I are going to create. So let's get to work. Press the stop button to stop me playing. The project 0 is completely empty and a good place to start. Hold the project button, press 0 and select an empty pattern. Good boy. Each of my patterns contains 16 tracks. For now we will focus on the first 8. Each of these tracks contains multiple samples or presets that you can choose from. On the left we have 4 tracks to set up your drums and percussion. A kick track. A snare track. A track for hi-hats and percussion. And one for samples and special effects. Let's fill up that kick track. First we have to decide on a sample. Hold the track button on the left and choose the kick track. You now have to choose one of four sample banks. As soon as you have picked one let go of the track button. You can now browse through the available kick samples by using the keyboard buttons. Have you made your decision? Well, that is a dope kick. You are a genius. Let's put that into our pattern. There are two ways of placing samples in a pattern, sequencing or live recording. Let's use the sequencing mode for our drums. After choosing one track the track buttons become a step sequencer. You can now place the latest played sample by pressing the desired steps. All right, let's hear it. If you would like to change the tempo press and hold the tempo button on top of me and turn the green dial. Note that this will affect all patterns in the active project. You can also enter the desired beats per minute with the value keys. You can control the volume of the metronome by holding the tempo button and turn the red dial. Wow! Fantastic! I am truly amazed by your talent. Let's add a snare. Press and hold the track button again and select the snare track. Now pick your sample. You obviously cannot decide which sample you like most. Fortunately, you don't have to. There is another way of placing samples in sequencing mode. 
You can press and hold the desired step and then choose up to two samples to be layered. This will also work while your pattern is played back. So awesome! I would put on my dancing shoes right now. But I have no feet. So no shoes for me but maybe you got some hats? Select the hi-hat track and pick your samples. Let me show you another way of using the sequencer. If you want to fill up each of the 16 steps you can just press and hold the record button and mash in your samples. Yes, just like that. Good job. Let's hear it. Incredible. I don't think even Mozart ever dropped a beat as sick as this one. Probably because he never had an OPZ. Let's leave the drum section for now and move on to the next four tracks. These are bass, lead, arpeggio, and chord. Let's start with a nice chord progression. Select the chord track and hold the track button. You can now choose from six synth engines each containing four different presets. To hear the selected sound let go of the track button and press the keyboard buttons. Well picked. Very tasteful. Now let's do some live recording. Press the play button. You can now press and hold the record button to life record your chord progression. It will be instantly saved and looped. Yes, just like that. But wait a minute, something is wrong with your chord progression. Maybe it is because this is not a progression. It is a chord. You probably did this on purpose because your pattern is too short for a smooth progression. Let me show you how to change that. By default your pattern has a length of 1 bar with 16 steps. You can change both these parameters for each track individually. To change the step count hold track and shift and choose the desired number of steps in the sequencer. Now only this number of steps will be sequenced and looped over and over again. If you're into crazy polyrhythmic stuff or weird time signatures this feature will be your best friend. But let's keep it simple for now and stick to 16 steps. To change the number of bars hold track and shift and choose the desired amount from the value keys. The track will now be playing across 4 bars. Now delete the chord you have played. You can clear the active track by holding the track button and pressing the stop button for 1 second. Press play and record your chord progression. Oh yeah, that is so good. No one pushes my buttons like you. Let's move on to the bass track. Select the bass track and pick a sound you like. Raise the number of bars to 4. If the range of notes available on the keyboard is too high or low you can change the octave by pressing the plus and minus button on the bottom left. Are you ready to life record that bass line now? Cool. Another way to start your live recording is to hold the record button and press play. I am now armed and waiting for your input. As soon as you play the first note of your bass line I will start playback and recording. Awesome. This is cooler than my grandmother. Who was a fridge? I think this is a good moment to stop as I do not want you to get mentally hurt by my jokes. The next time I will tell you everything about my dials. I am going to explain how they are used in different functions, and then, it's... <laughs>